Coming up soon, folks, in Mississippi, uh, the Democratic um, side will have a runoff for the Democratic nomination for governor. Uh, and Mayor Johnny Dupree, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, is in the runoff. And if he wins the runoff, he will be the African-American, well, he'll be the Democratic nominee and be the first African-American, uh, I believe. Uh, Mayor Dupree joins us this morning. Mayor, good morning. Good morning. How you doing this morning? Do- doing great. Doing great. Uh, first of all, um, how is the runoff going? What does it look like? Uh, and, uh, you know, how does it feel to be uh, that much closer to uh, running for governor of Mississippi? Well, the runoff is going well. You know, we've really ne- never stopped doing what we've been doing for the, uh, for the, for the primary. We, we've been go- meeting people where they live. Today's got about four to 5,000 miles in my car in about a year and two months. So we continue doing the same. All we did was change the date from August the 2nd to August the 23rd. Uh, so it's, it's going great, I believe. Uh, of course, Mississippi has more uh, elected officials, African-American elected officials, than any other state in the union. Uh, and so what, what's your primary campaign focusing on? Well, you know, I think everybody knows about Mississippi. Uh, you know, when you look at the categories that, that mean a lot and change, which changes people's lives, you look at where uh, Mississippi is positioned. Those are all the things. You know, our president said you have to chew gum and, and walk at the same time, and that's what we have, we've got to do here. We've got to tackle all those things that other people are tackling across the nation. We have a, a greater need. To, you know, when you talk about uh, uh, all those things that affect us, jobs, education, all those things. So that's what we've been talking about for this last year and two months. And, uh, you know, I, so I, I thank the people of, uh, of Mississippi for giving me the opportunity to do that. Uh, you know, I've got a, a real sordid history from, uh, from being raised in a single-parent household, uh, by a mother with three children and uh, living in a shotgun house and those kind of things. When you when you draw up what someone should look like to run for this office, it mm-hmm. wouldn't be me. Uh, but I really thank the uh, <laughs> Mississippi. I was the first African American mayor of Hattiesburg, Mississippi, which is the fourth largest uh, city in the state. So uh, these people have uh, in Mississippi really uh, done well and they have blessed my family by allowing us to uh, serve in these different capacities. I love your name, Mayor Johnny Dupree. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I'm proud to be who I am. I'm proud of my mom and my dad. We're African American, and uh, you know, some people will look at my name and wonder if I'm black or white. But you know, I, I I'm as black as you can get. <laughs> oh yeah, you light skin? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I, I mean, I, I'm. Uh, you on my team? I'm what now? You on my team, the light skin team? Oh no, no, really. You know, my wife saw you in the in the airport. We were traveling from somewhere, and she she wanted to run you down. I said, look, I'm hungry. I I, I see him on television, and uh. <laughs> Now, uh, uh, this is Tom, man. Oh, Tom, I'm sorry. It's my frat brother. Y- you a Q? Yes, sir. I am a Q, you know. He- Where'd you play it? Uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I-, I wasn't able to do it the way everybody else does, Tom, because I ended up uh, uh, marrying at 19 years old, started school, dropped out because I had a baby, then another baby. So we, we-, we uh, played at the Fire chapter here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Uh, I looked at what the uh, makers were doing, uh, and-, and I felt like that was the best place for us to to to, uh, to land and so we did that and, and real proud that we did you know a lot's going to happen in November my birthday is a is the day after uh, uh, Omega chapter was founded no. uh, I was born November eighteenth uh, if we elected be November and we celebrate a hundred years uh, in November so Mayor you know you losing all alpha votes so you <laughs> might just want to type down on that all that <laughs> no, no, some no, of no. my alpha friends some of my alpha uh, uh, brothers are some of the best people in the world you know oh, if, so if elected if elected governor. <laughs> Will you take that flag down, that Confederate flag down? Well, you know, what I, you know, people ask me that all the time. I guess this is rolling, right? This is no, time. This is time. That's time. Um, you know, people ask me that all the time. You know, we have a lot to contend with here in Mississippi. You know, that was voted on uh, years ago. And we have to we're now trying to make sure that uh, people are eating and people have jobs and do those kinds of things. I, I'm hoping that as we continue to dialogue, some of those things that, that plague Mississippi will be uh, contended with. Well, right now, time, what I'm trying to make sure is that people that I love and people that hear that that are hurting uh, are taken care of at the household, that they can take make sure their children are eating and those kinds of things. And that's what we've done here in Hattiesburg. We've we've, we've created uh, had an environment that we created to, so that we could. Uh, over my ten years as mayor, we've created a thousand jobs. Uh, this last year, we created I mean seven thousand jobs. So this last year, we created another thousand jobs, and that's what we really have to be about. I think right now. Aren't there some questions about who's eligible to vote in the runoff? Uh, they can go to your website and, and to clarify who is eligible to vote for you on Tuesday. Yeah, you can go to johnnydupree.com. It's real simple because I don't I don't do the IT real well, but johnnydupree.com is where you can go. 
<laughs> so a lot of things, even even uh, send a contribution. Uh, uh, anybody who voted in the Democratic primary on August the second can go back and vote. And if you didn't vote for whatever reason, if you uh, forgot or uh, had to work or whatever, you can go back on the twenty third and redeem yourself and All go right. back out here and vote again for the Democratic primary. Uh, you know, I would tell you that people said that when we started this campaign over a year ago, that we couldn't win for any number of reasons. One was that we couldn't raise funds. They were correct. We didn't raise the amount of funds that everybody else did. But I will tell you, as a Democratic candidate, we raised, we, we actually uh, created more votes than anybody else, even the Republican nominee. Yeah. We created more votes with less money. Good we luck, sir. We $2.1 million to get less votes than we did. So we have an on-the-ground campaign, and that's what we've always had. People resonated with our message, and therefore they've liked the messenger. And that's what we've done. All right. Good Amanda luck. Dupree, good luck with it.